guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I'm coming on to do a very, very thrifty craft room tour. So, I'm on the outside door, and it's raining, so I'm getting rained on at the moment. Just to give you an overview, a little of an overview of my craft space. So, let me step inside and we'll get started with the rest of my room tour. Okay, as you step inside the room um, from the outside, and this will be going to the left of that door, this is my sliding glass door here and then a window and this is the corner and what you're seeing here first is my um, tool shop and I already did a video of that so I'm not going to go through that in any depth but I will have that video link below and then you see my little rascog cart I also did a video of that. I'll have that link below too. And then you can see my um, drawers of different colors. And I haven't done a video of that, so I'll go into a little more detail what I have in there. And then you can see my... Um, Oh, what's it called? Mannequin. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what it was called for a second. And then the window. And then um, different things that I have on the wall. So we'll go from there as well. So this is where we're going to start. And I don't want to make anybody nauseous with the rapid moving around because I'm holding my camera in my hand. So I'm going to pause right here and we'll go over to that area. Okay, this is very tight quarters here. So I'm not able to the make the view wider because I got it as wide as it goes at this point. So we're going to go from here. This is the top of my rolling cart. I've had this thing for probably 15, 16 years. Easy. And um, then on top of it, I have some little uh, binders. I have this beautiful piece of framed artwork that Sheila made me. Um, she is Art of Life by Sheila, I believe, here on YouTube, so you need to check her out. And I love this. It's gorgeous, and I have it right there. And then I have this beautiful swan dish, and I found this at my local Goodwill shop, and I just keep scraps of ribbon in it. And then I have a little cherished teddy cup and saucer that I keep these little hooks in, and apparently a tag that came off my coach purse, and just the little hooks. Oh. And there's that for that tag. So I'll figure out which purse that came off of and put it back on there. And what I do here is that I have put, um, it comes with two red, two orange, two green, two blue, and two purple. And what I've done is put them together. And then I've got them labeled with vinyl as to what is in here. I work best by colors in my craft space as to what I'm looking for when I'm doing any craft project. So that's what I've done here. And in this top drawer that says red and pink, what I have is flowers, large embellishments, sequins and glitter and buttons and is what goes in there and then I have twine in there as well so that's what is in all of these I have orange and yellow green and blue purple and white gray and black and this is brown, silver, and gold. 
and then this drawer here I keep with all of my blings <laughs> they're all just mess in there and every fashion possible but it's everything bling is what I have in that drawer and oh get it back in there and then this drawer is all wood veneers or wood embellishments whether they're clothes pegs or wood veneer die cuts that I put in there or a little um, anything wood <laughs> so you get the gist of that and this here is all foam type embellishments in that drawer and this is just extra adhesive drawer is what I keep in the last purple one so that's how I organize that and like I said everything goes by color for me I work by color and I try to keep it all in rainbow color as well and then on my little mannequin here and I purchased this at Hobby Lobby uh, a couple years ago and what I've done is that I've got these nice beautiful uh, stick pins straight pins that I'm using this big bold pearl and then I'm putting different cards and things on it I just took some off and I just put this one on because it just came in the mail today from my beautiful, lovely, crafty friend, Katie Crab, who is the Crafty Crab here on YouTube. Thank you, Katie. I appreciate it. It's gorgeous. I love it. So it's up there, and I just got that up there. And that was her Christmas card to me. So thank you so much. And then on my wall... I have a little flag that says welcome to our home with flip-flops and all the, and the ocean scene and then you'll see that I have hooks hanging up here with cricket mats on it and here are all my new cricket mats up here down here are my ones that I'm using currently that are there and then over here are the ones um, that are my 12 by 24 mats that go there and then I got some other hooks on the wall that are different animals or sea creatures and I got different things hanging from them hot glue gun a fuse tool a red line score tape my heat gun um, a roll of 3M foam tape and all of that kind of stuff and then just a mess down there on the floor of different things and then you can see a stack of containers here that hold different embellishments and ephemera that I uh, don't want to forget to use so it's right there so that I can do that and then just a big roll of paper towels there <laughs> this is so I can use those as well and they're easy to grab because all of this sits directly behind my desk so instead of making you sick I'm gonna pause one more time to turn around and show you my computer desk okay I've got turned around here and you can see my computer desk right here and the big large window picture window there on that wall and I am an HP girl I had a Mac book at one time hated how it worked with my Cricut and I gave it to my daughter <laughs> she loves a Mac book so she's she's always had them so she was tickled to death to get a second one <laughs> so that's just my um, the PC there with keyboard and so forth and mouse and then over here I've got my little cupcake box holder of my special paper clips that I love and then a little mug that one of my co-workers gave me when she went on vacation and she brought it back 
look how cute that is. It doesn't fit my colors, but it is so cute. I had to use it, and I hold my pins in there. And it says, light is what happens between coffee and wine. So true. And then here's another little cupcake holder. And I just keep my wired paper clips in there. And then I have this gorgeous little matchbox that actually Katie from the Crafty Crab altered for me. And I love it. And I keep it right there. And then my husband got me this clock for Christmas. And it's a ship clock. So, and it should be on the wall, but I don't want to put it on the wall. If I ever decide to, I can. But it is right here. And with the time and so forth on it. And then we come on over. And I don't know if you can tell or not. my, But my desk is one of those just hard plastic um, six foot fold up tables that you can get anywhere. I just happened to get mine at Sam's Club. So I'm not 100% sure what they cost because I've had them forever and ever. And then I have this super cute white office chair that I also got for Christmas, but I got this for Christmas last Christmas, Christmas of 2017, and that's my cute little white leather office chair, and I love it. And so, let's come on around. Let's move my glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a We Are Memory Keepers um, mat, cutting mat here, that is 14 by 18, and I've had this for years, and it's magnetic. I've got, you can see some loose buttons, and this is a thing full of buttons, too. That's one of the things that my daughter gave me in my stocking this year for Christmas. And here I have some cute flamingo tins in varying si various sizes. And I've got scissors and, um, oh bone folders, and my crystal katana, some glue dots, spatulas, all kinds of different things in there that I reach for all the time. So it's right there. This is my thing of glue. And then this is my thing of uh, picks and spatulas for when I'm doing, uh, mainly when I'm doing um, vinyl and I need to weed my vinyl. This is just a super cute little card that my daughter gave me some time ago. And this is a cute little box that I made and I've just got the lid up like that and it just has different things that I use all the time. Whether it's a little circle punch or the tiny stapler, different wines, chapstick, my spatch cricket scraper, my tape roller, paper stumps, and all of my um, post-it notes that I keep in there because I reach for them all the time. Another little stapler that I got that looks like a high heel shoe. <laughs> My candle, it smells awesome. It smells like rose petals. <laughs> so that is this side of my room from, from there. And underneath, I'll try to go down. I'm really trying not to make you guys sick. And I'm so sorry if I do. Over there's just a trash can. And this is one of those little plastic... Um, Oh, organization stations is the only thing I know how to call it. <laughs> and I've got it all labeled. This is planner supplies. And this is foiling supplies. Interactive card supplies. Candy that I put in my packages. And this is specialty paper. And then this is all chipboard. 
that I keep there. And then I have these two cool, cute bags that my daughter has given me um, over this past year that keeps some cute crafty stuff in it that I use just different things that are small and I don't want to lose but I want them close at hand so that I can get to them and use them and then this is just a package of wet wipes that I don't use much anymore but I have them there for when I want something quick and easy to clean stamps or my mats with my Cricut mats that is so let's move around and we'll start over to the right hand side of my door when you walk in from the outside. Okay, before I go to the right of the door when you come in, I wanted to show you my beautiful mermaid that I have hanging above my door and then my cute little pineapple flamingo banner my daughter bought that for me uh, several months ago so I've got it hanging up and then my gorgeous mermaid and it's made out of metal and my husband and I bought that on a trip to Savannah Georgia oh probably 10 or 12 years ago so I've had it forever and I just absolutely love her so I've got her hanging right up there so let's see if I cannot make you sick and swing you around here and then I have my uh, rope of starfish Net hanging there and I got those actually at Cocoa Beach in Florida at the Ron John shop and then I have my little palm tree plant that there that makes it more beachy feel to me and then I have my gorgeous little pelican sitting on his stump with a light in his mouth <laughs> so when we come on up I'm not completely finished with all of this yet but on top what I have here are these metal rolling racks and I get these at Sam's Club I told you I was very thrifty and this was a very thrifty craft room so you're seeing that with all of my materials my little flamingo hanging up there that's actually a little birdhouse is turned around so you can't see him real well right now and I have a light glare as well but up there I have different um, storage containers with different things in them over here on this one is felt and fun foam and then this one are uh, this one here is circle cutters and such and then these two things here are packages that I've received that won't stay there I've just got them there to get them out of the way but I got beautiful things in there that I'll take out and put in their appropriate places and then display the beautiful crafty items that people have sent me and I'll walk in a little closer here and right here in this little handled basket that is porcelain I keep the wire to my happy jig and then my happy jig is right up there on top and then these are my iris containers and all of this shelf is full of iris containers that I keep different paper stacks in and then there's beads in some of them as well and then uh, we come on over and then I have different storage containers that I keep breads and buttons and different embellishments in and uh, and so forth and then this box is full 
of different embellishments and then this cool little expand file here is full of different stickers we come on down and then I have more iris containers and actually this one is empty this one is filled with um, bags drawstring bags and then this one here is full of embossing powders I have embossing powders and such in there with coffee filters and then here are some little Cricut coasters that I have made and they got felt backing on them which will hold my glasses of coffee or wine and then I have this cute little flamingo here and this is going to change real soon I just haven't had time to do it yet but right now this holds uh, this and this and this hold stamps and embossing folders that I'm in the process of reorganizing and redoing so that's going to be changed and put into all uh, boxes like this and I've made all of these little boxes and I've already started doing it and I've got three of them made and I've made them out of chipboard and decorated them in the theme and color that I like and then this binder holds my ink swatches for my inks this is still full of stamps and then we come over and these are my little spinners that hold my mini ink daubers and one of these I think it's back here that's the Tim Holtz one and this is one that I found at the Goodwill that it's an antique one and then back here is a container that holds all of my mini inks in as well so <laughs> that's what this is so this shelf will will be a re, uh, will be in the future redone and I'll have a little more space on it when I get it redone and then when we come on down to the next shelf I have this one I have a basket back here full of small scrap papers all of my small scraps and then in the front I have little containers of different embellishments these are word cuts and um, this container is full of photo corners and little jeweled pieces and cotton balls of different sizes and these are um, paper pieces that are uh, cut in squares, circles, flowers, and then um, hearts all at um, the, I believe they're two inches in size and uh, with all the different colors of the rainbow. And then here I have my cup cup or mug heat press this is my cap or ball cap heat press and then this is my small heat press it's a nine by nine uh, heat press platform and I use this to do small pillows and um, onesies for babies and stuff of that nature on that and then we come on down to the bottom shelf and here I have my cinch and this is a I'm not a hundred percent sure what's in that box it's something that I need to fix I do know that so that'll be taken out and fixed at some point in time this is my transfer tape for um, my six um, 51 or 631 vinyl and then on these boxes I have designated by category of what 
those embellishments and different things that are in there, whether it is Christmas or Halloween or Valentine's or St. Patrick's Day or Easter or birthdays or Fourth of July. It's all of those types of things that are in those containers and they're labeled so I can pull them out and use them very easily. And then this is one of those from the 1970s. It's a cassette holder is what it was for to hold your cassette tapes. And I have all of my inks in there, as you can see. Well, not all of them yet because it's not completely organized. But that's what I use for that. And uh, I've got a lot more to put in there, but it's right there. It's easy for me to pull out. And up there in that little pink three-ring binder that I showed you earlier is where I have everything categorized so I can pull what which container I want, whether it comes from this or the mini ink one up above, that will show me exactly where that ink is and what color it is and what slot it would be in. And I'll do another video on that at a later time that shows and shares all of that stuff. So we'll keep continuing on over to the left from here. And again, I'm trying not to make you guys sick. <laughs> so you can see from that view now. And then we come on up. And if you see my Alice in Wonderland, she is cut at 26 inches um, wide. And I believe she's about 28 inches tall. And I have a video up on my channel showing her. She is double-sided and she stands. She's one of my favorite all-time larger than the mat projects that I've ever made. So I have her up there and if I don't forget I'll link that video below as well. And then I have this beautiful uh, loaded, it was a loaded umbrella that someone made me, I don't remember who. And then I have a wine canvas here, a beautiful mini album that I won from Rosa over at Rosa's Creative Way. And then this is a gorgeous photo frame that I just recently received from Demarius who is Blessed Hands Arts and Craft and you can find her on Instagram or Facebook and I'm getting ready to put a photo in that so that will live there and the next shelf are just some items and things that I have made and then we come on down to my next shelf on the wall. You'll see my Cricut <laughs> license plate. This should go on the front of my car, but I don't have a place for it. Because in the state of Ohio, you have to have two license plates. Unless you don't have a place for it, then you don't have to use it. So I took my second one and placed it on my wall here with just thumbtacks. So... I'm a cricket girl, can't you tell? <laughs> when your vanity tag says cricket, you did cricket. <laughs> and then my next wall is my little um, texture boutique. I've had this for years and I can't get rid of it. It's so cute. It looks like a little purse. I don't really use it anymore, but I wanted to keep it there. And then you can see all of my Funko Pops. And with that, you can see what I'm really interested in. Elton John is my all-time favorite artist of all time. As you can see him here and here. And then I freaking love the royal family so i have the queen and prince harry and duchess megan <laughs> there and then when we come on over i have prince william and duchess kate princess diana and prince charles and the queen and her corgi and then 
my daughter got me oh print the queen fell i'll have to get her picked up and then my daughter got me this cool inner ear pillow <laughs> and oh i dropped them all now oh they're all falling okay i shouldn't have touched anything <laughs> so we'll deal with that I'll deal with those in a moment. But my daughter got me those, that ear pillow, because <laughs> it, it, it's so cool. I have very much hearing issues, and I wear hearing aids and have for many years because I have such hearing problems. And I've even had both of my eardrums reconstructed. <laughs> so... And I get tubes put in my ears. <laughs> Maybe more information than you wanted to know. But I get tubes put in my ears every six months. And I don't do it under anesthesia. I do it straight in the doctor's office. So I'm a pretty tough old bird. <laughs> you could say. <laughs> so enough about that. <laughs> so let's go on down from here. And here you'll find my Epson Workforce Pro. This is my sublimation printer. I do sublimation as well. And you can see my cis tank right here with my inks that I have in it. I've got it shut right now. It won't work unless it's all opened up. But I'm not using it, so that's, <laughs> I'm not using it at this moment, so it shut up. And then it sits on this drawered container that actually somebody just gave me. And this holds, in this drawer here, it holds, oh, I haven't opened it for a while. It holds all of my vinyl scraps and when I mean vinyl I mean my six there we go. It holds my uh, 651 and 631 Sizer Easy Weed Vinyl which is permanent and non-permanent vinyls and some extra uh, faux leather vinyls in there as well. And then this next drawer holds um, printable uh, vellum. It holds all of my vellum packs and so forth. And then also some napkins as well. And just a few odds and ends of different things. And then the third drawer holds all of my scrap paper. I have a paper problem. Can you tell? That's a lot of scrap paper that I need to learn to use instead of cutting into a full sheet every time. Oh, goodness. And then we come on over, and this is my everyday printing printer, and I use it for all of my Cricut printing cuts. It is an HP uh, printer, and it is an OfficeJet 6812. I've had it for a few years, and I absolutely love it. It does incredible prints, so I'm not for sure if it's still available or not, but it's one I've had, like I said, for several years, and I love it. And then I've got it setting on a printer cart, and my husband bought me these magnets that says the United States Postal Service Royal delivery frequent stops. He said it applied to me. I don't have any clue what he's talking about. Do you? And then this opens up. And in here I keep all types of uh, photo papers. And then there's some large catalog envelopes too. And more envelopes of different things. More of my faux vinyl. And then my sublimation paper is here as well. Because you have to have special paper when you do sublimation. So that's what's all is in that cabinet <laughs> there. And then we come on over and I have to show you my big, beautiful, wonderful wooden seahorse that I have here. 
he's quite large he's about three feet tall and I also got him at the same shop that I bought my metal mermaid from in Savannah Georgia and like I said that was 10 or 12 years ago is where he came from and I love him and that's just where he's gonna live for the time being and now we're gonna go over to my next metal rolling rack that will bring us over to the end of this room so let me try to not make you sick and take you to the top. Okay, coming over to the next wire rolling rack. And this is the top. Up here I have some different ribbons, extra ribbons, and boxes and photos in those green boxes, more ribbons and boxes, and over here are some canvases and then in this box is some antique lace trims that I was given and so forth and I don't know if you can see or not I'll come to the side is my little teeny tiny uh, baby sewing machine it's electric <laughs> and I think of it as a child one. I'm not a sewer. I don't sew, don't pretend to, but that's for paper and I only use it occasionally. And then it's sitting on top of my sewing box. Then we come down and then I have boxes of ribbon and there's ribbon on top. And, and I also have this in rainbow order. And then here's my pile of ribbons from the holidays that I still have to uh, file away, so to speak, in their boxes is what's there. I have a crystal glass vase that a company gifted me that I want to use to put flowers in. And then um, we come on over and here's more of ribbon storage. And I do go in rainbow order starting here all the way over and down. And then here I keep my solid color of 12 by 12 cardstock again in rainbow order. And this is chipboard here in rainbow order. And then in these two containers, I keep metal pieces, metal embellishments, and then magnets in the other. And that's just a Martha Stewart uh, doily punch there. And we come on down to the next one. And this is my Big Kick um, manual die cutting machine. Um, scrapbook layout that I haven't filed away yet in its book. This is my creative station and then behind there is another smaller creative station. And then we come on over and this is my Heidi Swap foil machine. And then back here is my laminator. Basically the same thing <laughs> as you guys know. And then we come on down to the next side, uh, or the next shelf. And here I have my 6x6 six six and 8x8 eight eight paper pads and a shoe box. I don't have many because I seldom use that size. So they're right there. And then we come on over. And this is all of my racks of 8.5 by 11 uh, colored card stocks is what I keep there and then at the very end which is right here is my eight and a half by eleven chipboard card stock and you see my cute little seahorse again and then we come on down to the very bottom shelf and this are these are my containers of the beautiful gorgeous happy mail that I have received a basket full of all kinds of different uh, goodies with some uh, pocket letters that I'm yet to file away a basket full of 
uh, loaded um, umbrellas and flip books and and so forth right there and then another basket of wonderful goodies for me to use and keep and see just more incredible gorgeousness and then my cool sweet sign that my daughter got me it says it's beginning to look a lot like shopping it might have been for Christmas she bought it before for me way before Christmas but she calls this room the shopping room <laughs> so I'm gonna put a stop to that because I've got way too much stuff way too many things and until I can use that up a bunch of the stuff that I have it's no more shopping season in here I can shop from my own self or for, or for my own racks and you just saw me move my little space heater out of the way there and then we come on over and up and what I have here is a bowl container that I bought from a business that was going out of business and what I keep in the top bowl is all of my washi tapes and then in the second bowl I keep all of my different paper straws and then in the third and fourth bowls I keep all of my punches I did a de-stash of a bunch of punches um, earlier this year like January February of 2018 and I gave all of those to, uh, punches away to little kids that were interested in crafting is who I did or what I did so that's what's all there and we come on over to this wall you'll see this table right here it's just a little four by four table and it folds up in half and I put that up to do pictures on or other things so it stays there folded and out of the way until I'm ready to do that those cricket mats right there that you see hanging on the wall are the ones that I need to wash to see if they come back into stickiness if not they'll be thrown away then we come on up and you can see this beautiful little pillow here hanging on my ceiling fan remote control and it's about flip flops and it says life is sweet life is sweeter in flip flops that was from a crafty friend that I received so it was just perfect for me and then I had this beautiful captain's bell hanging here I'll try to ring it quietly <laughs> and I ring that I got that for Christmas last year and I ring that yeah when and I don't ring it quietly I ring it quite loudly when I'm getting ready to film a video so everyone knows that I'm getting ready to film a video in the house so they try to stay quiet it doesn't work most of the time FYI we come over to this door and this door leads out into my main home um, the room that I am I am in used to be a screened-in porch and then we made it into a little media room and then just recently I made it into my scrap room and this gorgeous piece right here was made by another wonderful crafty friend lady her name is Janet and I believe her YouTube name and Instagram name is mom to create I absolutely love this piece and she sent that to me like this past year um, from a challenge that I was doing it's absolutely gorgeous don't you agree I love it and then we come on over and you can see at the top of this window right here I have a, a print a wood frame print print that my husband got me it says above all 
uh, live in truth to yourself and it's kind of beachy so I just love that and I'll get one for that window over there too right here with those hooks that I still have on it and um, I may even make it myself and what you're seeing right here is my paper rack and let me try to show you all the way down to that as you can see it's just freaking amazing if you ask me it was a calendar holder that I bought from another store going out of business and I put all of my 12 by 12 paper stacks in there and this thing holds 100 paper stacks and I'm ashamed to say I got it filled. Don't judge me. I am a paper hoarder. So we'll just move right along with that. And it does rotate. We'll move right along. And what you see here, and probably the most expensive thing in this room, is this little baby right here. And this holds all of my HTV vinyl, which is heat transfer vinyl is what it's called. And then right here, you'll see I have wrapping paper stored in there. But that's what this sweet little baby is. It uh, um, holds my HTV. And what it actually is, is um, a person... I believe they're called engineers. <laughs> I don't know, but I know a lot of engineers use them. It's a blueprint holder is what this is. And you see I have this great big space right down here in the bottom of this baby. Um, I am going to um, cut out a phrase that I'm going to put on there in vinyl and attach to that to make it prettier because it's not really pretty it's kind of ugly and sticks out like a sore thumb so that's what I'm going to do there and I'll put a video I'll make a video of what I'm putting on there and show you how I do that but that's what this is my husband bought this for me on Amazon because I'd been asking him for it for a couple of years and he finally bought it for me about three or four months ago and they're not cheap <laughs> and they're difficult to put together and use but in the long run it was well worth it and I've got some vinyl in there you can't see all of it because it all of it doesn't stick out because it's not tall enough but I also keep it in rainbow order as well and then we come on over to the next corner of the room and I have my little flag right here it says wine a bit you'll feel better wine always makes things feel better right and then here's where I have my 15 by 15 inch heat press is right here and it's a swing arm heat press and the big brown piece of paper there it's not paper but this thing here that you see is sneaking is peeking out oh my goodness I can't speak is a silicone mat which helps with everything and I use it on everything obviously it's not on but it is plugged in and I've got it setting on two target cubby hole holders and I set them a little differently to make my shelving unit much deeper and I've got tons of things in each of those shelving units all um, heat press materials there which is high resistant heat tape and all kinds of different goodies and stuff there's just all kinds of stuff in there that I use all the time and that was just the place to put it and then we come on over here 
and I have more things here. Right there, you'll see uh, a net, and it is um, like a fishing net, and I'm going to get that hung on the wall soon, and I'm going to put seashells in it because I have tons of seash seashells, and then back there in the back is for my uh, light box for taking photos. A photo box, I guess is what it's called, and there's different backgrounds, and this here is the photo box itself. There's a trash can <laughs> down there, and then we come over to another table, and I've got the table set up in an L shape, and pardon those big bright lights in the background there, that's my spotlights is what it's looking like. You can see the L shape and that's how I have this set up in front of this huge big picture window here. And then on this side I keep my label maker and uh, um, different cute uh, pins to put over on my mannequin to hang things. And my Dymo label maker is there with extra tape. And then if you take that off, I have these little things that my daughter bought me to put pens and pencils in when I'm working here because this is actually my work desk. Here I have this cute glass jar that holds different things and mainly people's addresses for swaps that I'm doing. There is a beautiful dolphin uh, uh, um, bronze piece here. And to be quite honest, it's an urn, but it doesn't have any cremains in it whatsoever. It was a discontinued urn, and I wanted it, and I had already, my husband and I had already paid for it. We own a funeral home and crematory, <laughs> so this is something we had paid for years ago through our business, <laughs> and once it was discontinued, I brought it home to keep for myself because I think it's gorgeous, and no, I will not be cremated. <laughs> so it's not for me, <laughs> but I love that baby. So this is a great big giant wine glass that one of my friends gave me, actually my neighbor. And then I just got different goodies and things down here. This is a beautiful little silver leaf plate that I use, and I keep my most used products in there that I use every time or a lot of times my mono sand eraser my embossing buddy my glue eraser my corner punch and clothes pegs when I'm using wet glue so on and so forth then I have my uh, 12 by 12 Fiskars paper trimmer. This is the Big Daddy one. I love it. And I like that I can be able to keep it out of the time. So it stays here. I have this beautiful little teacup. Coffee cup is what I prefer because I'm a coffee drinker, not a tea drinker. That I keep all of my big tools in. My shoe. Uh, tape dispenser. I got some beautiful cacti candles from my daughter and um, and so forth. Now if I back up a little bit you can see this huge mat right here that I use and it is 28 by 28 inches square and I and this is where I do all my filming, typically. And then I also have a paper grid mat on top of it. And what you're seeing there is some little boxes that I made. 
Oh, there's the eyeglasses I was looking for earlier, my readers. <laughs> so, and then I have these lamps, lights here that are adjustable so that it makes my work surface lighted and easier to see. And then I got a bunch of different little goodies back here. This is a little pug tape dispenser, and I got two of those. Picture of me and my hubby for our engagement pictures. Here's a spit guard for my Yeti microphone. My husband didn't realize that he was buying the red one. I would have preferred pink or blue, but I got the red one and that's okay. So I got that set up with its spit guard. <laughs> so haven't used it yet. Got to figure out how. <laughs> so we'll get that figured out real soon. And then over here is my little tool caddy. These are the tools I use all the time, and I've got it between the surface here, this desk here that I use to film and put everything together, and then my computer desk right here where I also put things together, but not as often, but with everything here in this little tool caddy, I'm able to gather and grab very quickly. So that ends my craft room tour and I'm sorry that it was so long but it became a very very long video and I really hope that you guys have enjoyed my craft room and I wanted to let you know that you can do it on a budget and make it very enjoyable and easy to work in because my craft room is incredibly budget friendly. So I appreciate you guys for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting and we I hope to talk to you again real soon. Cheers! Sorry guys, I signed off and forgot to show you the rest of my room. <laughs> the little bits and pieces that are here. And it's actually the pieces I use the most, so I'm so sorry about that. I have another little um, organizational tote here of things. And you can see that it says tags and stickers for everything else and at the very bottom is alphas and then on this little metal cart here I have this gorgeous little container that looks like seashells that I put a pillow pillar container in and then these gorgeous little wicker baskets and those hold tons of different die cuts that I've made and they're in there for future use and then we come on down and I have my laser printer here yes I have three printers three <laughs> and that's the laser one because it uses toner and with toner you can foil anything that you've printed on toner you can foil so that's why I have that and then on the bottom of that shelf I have these gorgeous pot of seashells that I collected this past summer over in Hilton Head Island. I live in Ohio. I'm landlocked. So I love it when I collect seashells. I'm an avid seashell collector. So I do vacations primarily around seashell collecting. And this is one of my prized possessions. And I've got two of these. And these are baby horseshoe crabs and I did find them dead. All the shells that I've collected and all the things that I've found have been dead. So don't beat me up, people.
<laughs> so that's what those are. There's a little picnic basket there that I made oh, probably five or six years ago. Here's a beautiful altered paintbrush that somebody made me. And down here laying on the floor is the different papers um, that I use in the printer. And what I forgot to show, as you guys know, I'm a Cricut girl. And what I have in here now are the three Cricuts that I use all the time. And I do have several Cricuts and this is only three of them and I use these all at the same time sometimes depending on what I'm making or what I'm doing or what my project is this one is the Cricut Maker that I use this is the Cricut Explore Air that I use and then this is the Cricut Explore One that I use and they're all set up and ready for me to use at any point in time. So I couldn't believe when I went back and watched my video and was ready to do it that I forgot to include my crickets. Oh my God, what a travesty is that. <laughs> so I had to come back on and add to the video. I am so sorry that the video is so long, but you had to see my crickets. So I'm sorry. And to use them, and I can use them like this very easily, you just have to have 12 inches front and back and I have that very easily on these even though this particular little stand is butted up against my de desk I made sure that I had 12 inches to go back and forth and these little metal stands actually came from Lowe's so you can have a craft room on a budget and be very thrifty just like me because mine is very very thrifty I could have gone all out and spent all the money and have done all of the big stuff that everybody else does in their craft rooms from Ikea or whatever and I know Ikea is cheap but let's face it when you're putting together a room and you've got a lot to do and you got a lot of space to fill those cabinets from Ikea add up really fast and I did mine on a thrifty budget and I want you to know you can too and you can make it look great maybe you guys don't like it maybe you do but you know what that doesn't matter I love it so thanks for watching guys and I appreciate your guys' support more than you know crafty cheers and love bye